You probably know me by now. My name is Anmol and I create these really boring, I think they're interesting, videos on healthcare and AI. My team always tells me I don't dress up well enough for these videos. So, you know, I got myself a new leather jacket, a new pair of specs, and a lot of other new things. Uh, but hopefully, you know, they'll be happy. But jokes apart, today's video is for you if you're a medical practice or a dental practice owner or anything in healthcare, really. This one's really for you. Today, we are diving into top five AI applications or tools that are transforming healthcare businesses, right? And I'm not just talking about technology or workflow here. I'm talking about AI tools that are transforming the way healthcare was. So things that are changing for good and probably will never become the same again, right? And no, I, I didn't get this list from by just Googling this, right? We work at Emitter, we work with thousand plus healthcare practices. And the one question since 2025 that I get asked the most is that, hey, what exactly should I be using AI for? Or where exactly should I be using AI for, right? In, in my healthcare practice. So I thought, why not create a video and try to help the audience at large? So let's get right into it. I'm gonna be talking about five tools for five different use cases. But the first one is Emitter itself, right? Think of Emitter like an AI employee, uh, like a digital employee that can do exactly the things that your front desk receptionist can, right? But it just never sleeps and it works 24 seven. And let me tell you this, with over 140 plus Captera reviews, 50 plus G2 reviews, and, and having seen thousand plus practices use this, I really believe Emitter is not just another AI tool, right? It's really built for healthcare businesses. So what Emitter's AI capability can do, like I said, it's an AI employee that can help scheduling calls, scheduling appointments, following up with patients, so on and so forth. So all the tasks that your receptionist does, so it's an AI receptionist. The second tool that I'm gonna be talking about is an AI scribe, something to manage your soap notes. The tool number two that I'm going to be talking about is freed.ai, F-R-E-E-D.ai. We understand and that documentation burn is real, right, in, in the healthcare industry. Insurances require you to document so much. Uh, compliance requires you to document so much. Now, how Freed works is it listens to your patient visits while they're with the providers and automatically generates soap notes. So you can stop, you know, charting all of this information late at nights into your EMR, right? Interestingly, Emitter, because we are an AI employee, we are not just an AI scribe or AI receptionist, we are also building our AI scribe with time, right? But if you're looking for an AI scribe today, then probably you've got to go with Freed.ai. And of course, uh, in the future, you'll, you'll probably want to look at Emitter when we've also built this, right? Uh, so those are the first two tools, uh, an AI receptionist and an AI scribe. Now, another interesting area that I want to talk about where we see a lot of healthcare businesses outsource this element to service businesses is medical coding. And AI has transformed medical coding as well. So the third tool that I'm going to talk about is an AI coding assistant. The name is thoughtful.ai. Really what it does is it helps you come out of the mess of revenue cycle. What they do is they have AI agents which essentially handle eligibility checks and then look at the claims and payment processing. So think of it, if today you're outsourcing your revenue cycle management with medical codes where people have to, where you know outsource teams have to understand three different types of codes and enter those into the EMR and then you realize, hey, all of this hard work only for the claim to get denied, then now AI can do this with 100% accuracy. It can go in, read through your different documentation, read through your medical notes and identify the right medical code to put it into the EMR and pass it on to the insurance teams, right? Uh, so it's really like giving your medical or billing team a superpower. So those are the three most important ones. Now I'm going to talk about two other AI tools. The fourth one is treatment plan generator. A lot of times we've got to create treatment plans and give those to, you know, patients, right? And that's exactly where this tool Navina.ai comes in. It basically pulls all the fragmented, messy EMR data into one beautiful usable summary, right? So clinicians can make faster decisions. Think of it like better care and, you know, less work for clinicians to do. That's exactly what Treatment Plan Generator does. And the last one, which I have not had personal experience with, but I'm hearing this more often than not, is imaging and diagnostics. Yes, AI is getting into clinical, not just patient-facing workflows, but also clinical workflows. And the name of the tool, which does medical imaging, and it's really the, you know, superhero in radiology, it's AI Doc. Basically what it does is it scans imaging in real time. It flags urgent issues and helps 
teams act faster, right? So what we are learning with time is that a lot of times even humans miss out picking the details, the fine prints of x-rays and images. And that's exactly where, where the AI doc comes in for AI-based imaging and diagnostic. And it can also predict what's going to happen by looking at, you know, it's trained on millions of data, right? If you're still wondering, is AI a hype or, or is this real? Feel free to look at our YouTube channel, look at our other videos, or of course, go back and research yourself or, or think of your own usage of chat GPT and this, these different LLM platforms, right? If you think they're good, then that's exactly what you can do to improve your patient experience, your clinic experience, your clinical operations, right? It's, it's essentially a rewrite of the entire healthcare playbook. And once you get into it, you'll, you'll never go back. So these tools aren't just future ideas, right? They are there, they're alive, they're saving time today and reducing a lot of burnout and they're reducing a lot of burn in your pocket as well, right? So if it's not already part of your strategy, I hate to break it to you, but you're probably already falling behind most of your competitors, right? It isn't about growth anymore. It's really about survival. If you don't have AI, businesses like ours also are fighting, right? If we don't have AI, we'll also have to rethink our survival. I think the same is going to happen with healthcare businesses as well. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe. And of course, we'll keep coming up with more informative videos around AI, healthcare, and, and all the useful stuff. See you in the next video.